What's up, everyone? It's Ketchup on Ice, and uh, finally we have a Madden gameplay where it's an actual game. Uh, this is an online match. As you can see, it does not say uh, GB or Pack or something at the top there. Well, I, I don't know if you can. The, the screen quality is really bad. Uh, so here we are starting off the offense with just a inside run, a counter, and he gets popped on the play. And so, yeah, if you guys didn't know, I have Pierre Thomas as my running back. And so here we go with another run play. And it, it's, it's, it's going all slow. I don't know why. Um, yeah, we, we get stopped short once again. So... Here we are doing a pass play, and uh, we got Marquise Colston and Sammy Baugh right now. So, and it's funny because he does not have a face mask, and you see all that one almost gets picked off, and I am forced to punt the ball. So here we go. Getting ready to snap it, and who is that? Like something Brown or Jones? I I don't know. I don't even know the name of my own punter. Um, and he calls for a ca fair catch right there at the was that 39, 38. Um, so we're just gonna do a cover three, start things off, and. This is a play action over the middle. Oh! And it is intercepted. Louis Delmos, or Louis Delmos. I, I don't know how you pronounce it. But he comes up big. First play on defense. I'm telling you, he is a beast. You need to ha get him on your team if you don't have him. He's great. So here we go with the halfback stretch. Pierre Thomas hits him on the outside. That's a first down. Here we go. Yeah, you see no face mask. And he's number 33. Because I don't think they had, like, restrictions on numbers back then. And so here we go doing another outside handoff. And once again. But he is shoelace tackled. And... Here we go. I would normally edit this out, but I just wanted to get a gameplay out for you guys. I recorded this a couple nights ago. And, um, so, here we go. We're going to end it. Oh, oh, I thought that was for sure going to be picked off, but Stevie Johnson is able to make the catch. And so, here we go. A... What is that? Uh, another outside handoff to Pierre Thomas. The speed that he has, it's it's just... And, and the trucking that he has, it is... It's it's great to have him on your team. I, I can't even, like, explain it. But here we go, guys. Second and, I believe that's six. Another outside handoff to Pierre Thomas. And... Here he goes, picking up the first down. And, uh... So here we go. Another snap. I want to look at, like, Charles Clay or... Or, uh... One of them. So here we go, Charles Clay up deep, and it's almost picked off. I don't know. Maybe this guy doesn't know how to use ball hawk, um, but Sammy Ball hasn't been the most accurate quarterback. I, I've noticed that. His accuracy is only about an 88, um, but I got him for 11K, 95 overall quarterback. Can't complain, you know? Um, I haven't really seen a deal like that before, and so here we go with Pierre Thomas breaking his way to getting a first down at the six-yard line. It's hard to believe we got stopped. It's hard to believe we got stopped. So.
so easily, and now we're just marching down the field. So, here we go over the middle. That's DeAndre Hopkins. He gets stopped at, I believe, the three yard line. Here we go, inside handoff right here, second and goal, and, whoa, that was, that was weird, yeah, sometimes the recorder kind of goes slower and faster, um, but yeah, we were not able to convert here, so it's third and goal, hopefully we can get something going, and sorry, sorry it's taking a while to, um, you know, I, I didn't want to spend too much time editing. I just wanted to get this video out. I will edit it more in the future. But, and as you can see, that's Pierre Thomas again on third down. Okay, but he's just breaking his way through the defensive line. And here we go with the extra point. And it is good, of course. It's almost impossible to miss those. Um... So here we are, here we, ugh. I cannot talk right now. Here we are on the kickoff, and he's going to receive it once again, and ooh, get the big hit. That's Randall Cobb right there, so I, I like to use her, the outside linebackers and the uh, right and left ends, because... When you do a power move, if you do it at the right time, it can just knock a defender, eh, a defender. It can knock a defender, uh, oh wow. It can knock an offensive lineman flat on his back. Um, yeah, I, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know how to talk right now, but, um, here we are. He gets set right here. Usering Danny Trevathan on the outside. Can we get a sack? No. And it's underthrown right there. I don't know who has that quarterback. It might be like Steve Young or something. Um, here he goes. Oh. Oh, gets rid of it on the screenplay. But yes, we are there. So it's fourth down. And I think he's the kind of guy that goes for it on these situations. And, you know... I had to call a timeout right here, I think. Yeah, because he was... Yeah. Um... Yeah, I had to call a timeout right here because... I did punt block, and... As you know, it's basically like... A free ticket for the... The offense to score. So we're going to ask Madden. It doesn't really matter. It's, it's a fourth and long... It, it's not, it's probably not going to be converted anyways. I know I'm really lazy calling plays, but, um, here we go over the middle, and he gets the first down. So here we are on the hurry up offense. Use ring Daniels on the outside, and oh! Lewis, Del Moss, another one. Can we house it? Can we house it? Yes, we can. That is six. Lewis Delmos, two picks already. That is... I, I don't know what to say right now. I, 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 I'm speechless. So here we are. Ugh. Here we are on the kickoff. And, whoa, that, that was really, it, that keeps happening to me. On, on these recordings, it goes really fast for a second. Um, so here he is on offense. You can see my defense is shifting around. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, he needs to score, and he's just kind of wasting time. And so he's going to dump it off, and, yeah, it's not... That's not going to help me at all. Um, who is that? I, I, I don't know who that is, but um, I noticed he had a lot of final edition players on his team. And, oh yeah, that, that's Mike Glennon. 
and he has Paul Fanica, and I, I think he has DeAndre Hopkins on his team, so, yeah, he is just loaded with final edition players, his, his running back was final edition also, um, who is it, Donald Brown, yeah, yeah, as you can see, he's handing it off, my, because my dad was watching me play this, and he's like, is that Jim Brown, I was like, no, well, no, he's, he's playing terribly, but, um, and then I realized that's probably Donald Brown. Um, but yeah, he, he was just loaded with final edition players. As here we go! And that is almost intercepted again by Louis Delmas. Just missed it. Um, so yeah, you can see there Mike Glennon. Right there, and I knew he wasn't gonna punt, um, because that's just not what he. I mean, I don't really like players that that go for it on fourth down. I used to be that guy, but um, not not anymore. I I like just. Um, and did he get a first? No, no, he did not get the first. Yes, okay, he did not get that first down. So we have a chance to go up 21 nothing. I don't go for two-point conversions. It's just too risky. So here we go, and a pass to the outside! Who is that? Is that DeAndre Hopkins? Just as I'm talking about him being on the other team, he comes up big for me. Here we go. I'm looking at Hopkins or Clay or one, one of them going across the middle of the end zone. And come on. Come on, Marquise. That 96 catching traffic, you got to make those. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. That was a terrible throw on my part. But still, he should have had at least a little more on that play. And you see Stevie Johnson making that catch. And, um... It, it's going slow. I don't know why. Um, but here we go. We're looking at any corner route. I I don't like curls. They they never work for me. Y you see, I went to the curl right there. They they have never worked. Um, uh, the the worst thing for me is um, uh, about about Madden. Like what happens to me is if I either have no receivers open or I make a terrible pass or a terrible decision and I find out I find out that someone else was wide open um, but we had to settle for a field goal right there and kick it off again so whew yeah there he is he's not gonna receive that kick I don't think we punted the ball at all in this game. Um, I, I never do, because, I, I don't know. Well, actually, no, no, we did punt. We, we punted early, but, um, I usually don't punt because a lot of times I'll march down the field, and then once I get in, like, the red zone, I won't be able to do anything. So I kick a lot of field goals in this game. Um, not this particular match, but, like, in Madden 25, like, in general. And so here he is on a corner route. And who did he hit right there? I, I don't know. Um, so we're just going to go with the cover one right here. Maybe that was a bad decision. I, I don't know. Um, I don't think it was, though, because I don't think he give, gets anything on this drive. I, I don't know, maybe we pick it off. So here he is, and no running back, so I'm in, I'm in like a dime package or something. I, 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 I'm saying or something, because I, I don't really know a lot about formations in Madden. I just know what plays work. Um, I'm more of like an offensive-oriented oriented 
guy, then... Well, no, not really, actually. My defense has been coming up big. I like my secondary. I really like my outside linebackers. And we get an interception! Rodney McLeod. It looks like McLeod, but I think it's McLeod. Um, and can we house this one, too? No, we, we step out of bounds right there. But my safeties, they're, they're coming up huge right here. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. My... my I'm, I'm talking about my secondary, and they make a big play. I mean, way, way to come up big right there. So we're going to do a deep pass. For some reason, I don't like passes over the middle. I like just beating your man down the field, and, yeah, you know, getting, getting, and so we get sacked on this play. Um, but, yeah, finding a man open down the field. Um... There's too much, like, clutter in the middle. And so, um, yeah, we're starting kicking off. He goes nowhere. No, that was a punt. That, yeah, that was a punt. So, um, yeah, I noticed he had a really good defensive line. He was good at, I mean, like, a lot of times when I, a lot of times I'll beat these terrible people, but, um, I'm, I'm, act I'm almost surprised I beat this guy. I mean, he was pretty good. He he knew how to use her, the defensive lineman really good. And we get another interception. Malcolm Smith. I don't know what to say. My defense is just coming up huge right now. And I was even thinking about selling Malcolm Smith. I mean, he hadn't been doing any good for me, and... Just when we needed it most, he intercepts it, and oh! Touchdown, Marquise Colston in double coverage. Yeah, I, I, I saw that one. I knew that he had beat both of those people. Um, it, it was a risky play, but it worked. And um, I didn't even need catching traffic on that one. That, that was just a beautiful pass by Sammy Baugh, and um, I can... I rarely ever say that anymore because, I don't know, it seems like lately the plays that I've been choosing and, uh, and the people I've been wanting to throw it to, it, it usually doesn't work out. But, um, yeah, my, my receiving core, my, yeah, my wide receiver core, my quarterback, they're, they're coming up big, my defense is huge, and look at that, stopping in behind the line. I don't even know if that was a blitz or not. And we go to the safety blitz, but we don't even need it because he has stopped behind the line again. This this is I mean it it's this is too much. So here we here he is passing it over the middle. And, uh, I like using Jason Hatcher because he's got, he's got like a 90-something finesse move. I really like that. Um, in a, uh, a defensive line, I, I really like that they can, they have good power move, finesse move. Um, I like to be able to rely on a move to get past the offensive lineman, like, every time. Power move is like when you get... Like, I've noticed the best, um, best time to use a power move is when you get up to them. And finesse move, it's after you're kind of wrestling with them. And we get a big hit, and we cause an injury. My middle linebackers, coming up huge too. I mean, I don't know, my defense is just, it, this, this is unreal. Well, not unreal. They're, but they're playing really well. And my defensive line, my linebackers are able to get to the quarterback, forcing another incompletion right there. Um, I I don't like doing zones because one little mistake could cause you cost you a touchdown. And I'm not that good at using them yet. So, um. 
But as you see right there, he gets a first down, so that really defeats the purpose of all those great plays my defense made right there. Um, so here we go, using the ends, and oh, that, uh, that was a nice hit. Alfred Morris gets popped on the play. I think I injured his running back because he is not using Donald Brown right now. And see a play action right there? He he tended to run a lot of play action. But the shutout is not going to happen. Wow. Wow. Uh, so he's going for a two-point conversion. He's not going to make it. I mean, and he gets sacked. I remember telling myself while I was playing this that I'm going to sack him on this. And I did. So that, that was really nice. And who does a squib kick? I mean, that's when you're in the lead. That's not... I mean, do an onside kick at least. Maybe he's like so, like really good at defense, but for offense and special teams, like he doesn't know anything. I'm not sure, but um, he really he did put up a fight this game, and so yeah, he's sacking me right here, and that was Von Miller. Yeah, he has some pretty good linebackers. I saw Clay Matthews, and so yeah, his his linebackers were pretty good. Um. So here we are, Sammy Ball goes, and oh, that did not just happen. Traymon Williams picks it off. Wow. And so here we are, Jason Hatcher right there. I really like using his finesse move, but it seems like the defensive tackles get really clumped up right there, and it's kind of hard to get anything going in. Oh, wow. That was all my fault. Yeah, I... See, that's why I don't like usering them in, in zone or man. Or like using a linebacker to cover somebody. Because if I make like a little mistake, which a lot of times I will, then I'm screwed, you know? Um, so he's going for a two-point conversion again. I don't know. I have a feeling he's going to make this one. I mean, he has a lot of momentum. So here he goes, snapping the ball, and no one in the backfield, only need two yards, but, you know, I, I can't really criticize because he did make the two-point conversion. So, here we go. I don't know, I, I'm kind of scared right now. I don't like where this is going. I mean, because some coaches can carry momentum. I'm not sure really, I know what momentum means, but I'm not really sure what that means, like, because it's like, do you call the perfect plays or something? I don't know how a coach could carry momentum, really, because that's just like calling all the right plays when you need it. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. That does. <laughs> Sorry about that, but, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm getting pretty scared right now. Pierre Thomas is... He's going nowhere. So, here we go again with a handoff to Pierre Thomas. I... I really do not want... Um, I, that, that was a weird move. I really do not want to get stopped on this play. And I really don't want to do passing plays. I don't want to take any risks. Um... I think I waited this one out. This this snap? No, I didn't. Okay, but, uh... Wow! Breaking his way in there, and that was Thurman Thomas. I think. No, that, maybe that was Pierre Thomas. Um, I know I do use Thurman Thomas um, in this game, because he is my third down running back, but it seems like all the third downs... Um... Are Pierre Thomas so it it's weird but yeah I'm I'm not really I forgot what I was gonna say okay that was a terrible read but I meant to do that because Sammy Baugh I mean I got a 
switch from the Redskins playbook. There is just way too many read options. And Sammy Ball, 79, or what, 75 speed? Yeah, it's not really going to work. Um, so here we are throwing it up deep. Yep, um, believe it or not. And so here we go. And we get it over the middle. Oh, let's go. DeAndre Hopkins. Way to make a play, DeAndre. Th that kind of rhymed, didn't it? Okay. So here we are with an outside handoff. And Yeah, there 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 wasn't much there wasn't much he could do right there. Uh, so, we're just going to be sticking with whatever run play they give us, I think. I mean, it's... <laughs> there's not really much else that would be logical to do. I don't want to pass it downfield every play. I just want to keep wearing out his defense, running out the clock. So, here's a two-minute warning. And, yeah, we're just going to do whatever run play they give us um but real but what really irritates me is sometimes they'll say they'll give you a run play and it'll be a pass play like um i know power o is a run play and they give they gave me a pa power o it was a pass play i chose run so i i think ea needs to improve on that like if you choose run, you need to have a run. Even if it's not in that little Ask Madden thing. Um, I think if you say run, you should get run. Like, in play now, I will, I will lose a lot of games because I have no idea what type of play it is. Because I'm not the type of guy that's just going to go in. Oh! Thurman Thomas breaking through tackles and... That's where we used him. Right there. And we needed him. I completely forgot what I was talking about. But I I don't care. That was a great play. Especially from like an 80, 85 overall running back. Oh yeah, here's a fun fact. Um, Thurman Thomas is the highest rated of all the rookie legends. Um, all the others are 80 except I think Kellen Winslow Sr. and Dan Marino. And so here we go. Nowhere to go for Pierre Thomas, really. Well, there, there was somewhere to go. I mean, you could have just like reversed it around. I bet this is really boring if you're, if you're sticking, um, if you're sticking with this video. I know it's long. I just didn't edit it, you know. So here we go, Thurman Thomas one more time, and that's going to give us the first down. I, I can't help but laugh at that no, no mask thing. And I'm not doing a quarterback deal. Are you kidding me? That is the lamest play ever, unless you're on like the last play of the game. Because, um, my friend was down by, like, four, and his opponent had it, last play of the game, just chucks it up deep, you know, like, nothing's gonna happen, my friend picks it off, returns it for a touchdown, he wins. And so, I don't want to take that chance. If I can score before that with, like, running plays, I will do that. But, I'm not gonna chuck it up deep, I don't want to risk anything. So here we go, we're going to do a, a toss. I don't try a lot of tosses because of the high risk of a loss of yardage. And I'm kind of new to this game, so I don't call audibles. That's not my thing. And so it's third and goal right here. I really want to score. I want to put up some more points, get some more coins, you know. Uh, keep building up my team. Um, by next video, I will have, well, I actually completed the coach's collection after this game. 
which you can see I won. You know, there's not really um, any doubt about that. I mean, I got a touchdown right there. So, you know, feel free to exit out this video after this. There's really nothing else except, uh, well, I don't want to ruin it for you guys that are staying in there. There is one big play. Not big, but there, there's an okay play here. Um, but yeah, feel free to exit out. No, no one scores. Or go to another video. Um, I don't need a ton of minutes watched. I just want to, you know, build a successful YouTube channel. Um, I want to be able to get as many subscribers as my main channel, which you should check out. Um, it's called Ketchup on Ice. It's got, what, 40, 44, 45 subscribers. And, uh, yeah, feel free to check that out. But he gets a quick pass over the middle right there to his tight end. Um, maybe that's Greg Olson. I, I, don't, I don't know who that is. I, I really don't care. Um, so here he is snapping the ball. Hail Mary throwing it up deep. Let's go. Rodney McLeod interception and that's the game so i hope you guys enjoyed this one see you guys next time um yeah if you liked it like it sounded weird um be sure to subscribe for more madden videos be sure to subscribe to my main channel um i can't i keep trying to make a video for you guys i will put one out um as soon as I can and you see Lewis Del Moss right there two interceptions a touchdown four tackles doesn't get better than that and um so here we go here's like the never say never moment of the game um they're throwing it up deep into double coverage Marquise Colston makes the catch right there beautiful pass um so here we go, we walk off with a W. And there's the game stats. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. You can hear the phone ringing.